Konbanwa. Hello everyone, good evening. It's Sherry, that's t Sherry in Japan. I'm here with some produce that I've been working on for Valentine's Day. Hopefully I'll get them in before my battery dies on my camera. I haven't had good luck lately with that. But I have some awesome, awesome projects. So just to share, um, before I, I'm going to show it to you right away so don't go anywhere. I'm using the Pink Paisley Sweetness Collection. This is the Love Letters paper and the Pretty Lace and also um, the Love Blooms. And I also use a piece from the Pink Paisley Junk Journal and that's the House of Three um, paper. So um, let's show the first project that I did. Here it is, dun, dun 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 It's a cigar box, and it's not a secret squirrel swap. It's just because I decided that I was going to do them now that, um, not that everybody, I didn't want to do them when everyone started doing them, but then I just wanted to do it because it looked like a really fun project because you could put stuff inside, and I've had so much fun. Okay, I used my Lindy Stamp Gang to stain it outside here. Dark cho chocolate truffle, and I also used um, my creme brulee. Um, I so love that look and then I have this gorgeous pink trim it's kind of fuzzy and shimmery in the middle and it has this loopy stuff down the middle and this is stuff that I only get here at the 100 yen store I've used it in green before and I have it in a few other colors but I really wanted to tie in pink not just for Valentine's Day but because the person who's getting this loves pink so that probably won't narrow it down and let's just see if I can get it in I'm going to show you there's the top and that's how it looks like. I used my tattered rose along the edges, if you can see. Um, looks like that. That's actually part of the paper there, but if you look you can kind of see how it is there. Um, I didn't want to do too brownie, but I wanted to tie in some of the pink here from this one. And then there's some yellow in here, so I tried to tie it all in. Now this was a bit intimidating because of how big the space was. But I decided to use um, this piece. I ordered a Pink Peasley warehouse box. So I got, um, I believe it was the anthology chipboard pieces. And um, one of them was the Eiffel Tower. So I decided that I would use that to um, fill some of the space. And just because um, who doesn't love Paris and, you know, for shabby chic, it just really goes. So basically what I did is I used a bunch of my Lindy Stamp Gang to get this beautiful blue color which really matches nicely um, with the color and the paper. It's kind of a greeny grayish blue. And then um, what I did is I used, um, I did all my spraying on it with the Lindy Stamp Gang and then I did the um, Distress Crackle Paint in clear. And then um, very key point ladies, when you do that you must use the Glossy Accents on, on top. And I almost forgot and I was losing a couple pieces from it. But I ended up um, saving it. I love how that turned out. Just gorgeous. And then I cut, um, oh my gosh, let's share real quick. Nicole um, has been doing her scrapbook organization and I took a, a note from her book and Oval Decorative Doily by MFT. So there it is. I've labeled all mine so I will not forget which label it is from now on, ladies. <laughs> so. Um, I've got a lot of wild orchids, crafts, um, trellis ro roses here. A couple of them I think I've got from Sherry and um, I've, I love these um, cherry blossoms here and here and this yellow like brings it in again the yellow up here and then it's also it also has the pink. I sprayed everything with cotton candy pink. This one is an actual pink one though but this one I dipped in um, some random Lindy Stamp Gang that I had as well or I used my paintbrush to get that effect. And I wanted to tie in some turquoisey green in that. And so that's how it goes. And I have um, Wild Orchids Crafts little um, pearl heart there. And some baby, tiny baby roses. And that's also from Wild Roses. Wild Orchids, I should say, sorry. As well as this um, spray here. These are um, American Crafts. It's a Dear Lizzie and has a pack of four mixed brads and maybe three of each or something, or four of each. But that's um, super, super awesome pearl there. And these are just from the 100 yen store here. And I used some of my Recollections um, butterflies and I loved how the yellow looked with this to tie in the yellow. And then what I did is I took my, um, 
my stickles. Let me just see which one it was. Yeah, it's the cotton candy. And oh my gosh, it makes it make it look a little bit cuter and matchy. Matchy matchy. And then I put a whole bling here because I know I've been hoarding it, but Sherry and Nicole are just, you know, sending me that stuff, so I just love to use it now. And especially, this is a special project, so it deserves that special extra touch. You have to put it once you do it, Sherry. She got it. Bling it up, girl. Okay, so I'm just going to open it up. And you see here, I put it all the way around. And then I just slit the back piece of the trim a bit, so it can open up no problem. And here it is. Ooh, and it's already filled with some goodies. So if we take a look here, I'm just going to go up. I put this cool trim all around the inside there. And then this was a Prima Madeline um, die cut note card. I think it, that's what it is. And I did the um, tattered rows all around the outside and I left it plain. Now, I didn't want to go ahead and select any pictures or whatnot. So you have to do that for yourself. Put um, some picture of you or you and your boyfriend or, you know, anything. Or you can put something that's um, inspiring or, you know, write a note here. And um, I'll leave that for you, and then this is be amazing. And then I used from that same um, Pink Pays the Chip Piece um, box that I got, I had two butterflies, and then I stained them with um, some the same blue that I used on the front of my Eiffel Tower there. And then I have some Prima Pen Mobiles in the corner, and I loved how that turned out. And I'm not going to share all my goodies that I put in there, but I am going to share um, this next little project. It's a notepad and it says take it to my heart it's got a couple stick um, staples and some basic gray brads and random brads there which I used with my paper piercer again thank you Nicole that stuff that works really well and I had to use some of this awesome trim that she sent me to I'm in love with it and I used some of that lace that Sherry gave me to in pink and then here is oh you can check it out just the ticket die by MST and then here's the stamp set. So I used um, this outside border. And then I used this one here to get to my heart. And I saw that Nicole had ordered it Scrapology, so I was super excited. And, and I forgot to take this out, but this is the Dainty Doily border strip. And um, super, super love that. Okay, so that will be in her box along with some goodies and let me put the camera down again we just have a couple more paint um, we have one more project to share and the next thing looks like this and um, there's some initials on here so probably know what it's if it's for you but i um, using some of those papers that I used on the box because I just really like them and it has some green on here and I also tied in some pink for Valentine's Day and it, I just thought it really went. So I used that same lace. I actually made yours before I did Sherry's. So um, that's how it goes. And then um, here, this is the, um, let's take a look. This is the wonky scallop border from MFT. And then I decided I would layer it here and then I would slip in the mix and match banners which look like this and I decided just to use these two and then I reversed them because I thought that would look better on the on the bottom and I super super love it and then I had these and I I thought they were they were kind of similar to this paper so I wanted to um, make them stand out a bit and I was going to do something a little bit more subtle but this is lime lime ice stickles and I didn't know that it's so sparkly oh my gosh let me show you yeah, it's called Lime Ice, and I didn't really realize that was going to be that sparkly, so. Uh, I probably should have went for some Distress Stickles, but I liked how it turned out, and if you open it up, it's playing on the, in there, I actually added this chip cover, because um, it had this plastic thing, but I really liked that too, so I left it in there, and I, I made it work, and I covered up the, just the label, and I used, um, 